Christich down left wing. Dimitri Christich to Elena. Centers and Hunter scores. Here's Hunter with the puck. Slides it down the boards and then boom. Rich Belong went for the head as well. There's Dow. Oh, yeah, there's the stick. It, it appeared as though Hatcher had turned his stick. Watch the blade. That's a very unusual way to do it, Kevin Hatcher. Only a deliberate attempt to injure. As right is battling. Knocked it away from Kovaka, but now Elenuk sets out of the corner. Hip check thrown by Kasparaitis. Elenuk tries to get by Kasparaitis. Watch what he does. Swings around with the hip. Boom. Take that. Take a ride on me. No further play as Bopre holds that. And now you see the ensuing scuffle. The Islanders have put together an exciting line. Marty McGinnis still out of the lineup with a broken kneecap. He's been skating in practice with the team. To back. Here's Hatcher with a drive. Close save. And jostling at the side of the net. Hunter and Fruit. Look at the desperate move by the goaltender. There's Ian Brady as he swings back. Ray Ferrero not taking any guff. Right back at him. Brady moves the puck around to Hunter. We've eight and a half minutes to play in the third period. Turgeon steals the puck, walks in. Oh, do you know? Five to one. An unfortunate scene now. Shot is being attended to. I hate to see it. You talk about sportsmanship, and it's very easy to, to blow your, blow your cool. But when the Islanders took the five to one lead, the Cats' response was this. Go to Turgeon. He's still being attended to. It was Dale Hunter that gave the puck away. Turgeon grabbed it. Went in and scored. And as Turgeon turned with his arms in the air, signaling his happiness, his elation, for giving the Islanders a three-goal lead, he was mocked by Dale Hunter. Ben Wahol, his right arm, something bothering him. He's got tape on his right hand. He was in a fight. Cavallini is on his way to the dressing room. I'm sure that Ben Wahol will be gone from the hockey game. Fans are raining garbage down. Hate to see that. Can't do anything about it. Here's the goal. What a beauty. Now watch Hunter as he follows. He follows Pierre Turgeon, and then he just golfs him. And here, everything breaks down. There's the goal. Hunter gave it away. He's in the back right corner trying to close in on Turgeon. Here comes Hunter. Moves in on him, moves in on him. The Hogue is behind him. Hogue doesn't look up. He's looking down as Terjan is mocked by Dale Hunter. Terjan on his way to the auditor dressing room. Pilon is left because of penalties. Hogue is left because of injuries. The auditor lead is 5-1. to one. The most important thing is for the Islanders, they get a 5-4 to 1 lead, excuse me, when Hunter gave the puck away here to Terjean. He beats Don Beaupre, but unfortunately, watch the right arm as he's mugged. His right arm crushed into the boards as he fell uncontrollably after Hunter had slammed him, slugged him from the blind side. One more look at it. It was Hunter's giveaway that resulted in the goal. There's Hunter on the boards. Turgeon steps in, and you take it from there, Ed.
Oh, you can see Hunter. He's hunting him down now. He's mad. He's selfish. That's exactly the way to describe him. He takes the responsibility for giving the puck away, giving away possibly the series. He takes it out on Pierre Turgeon because he made the most glaring error in the hockey game so far. The leader. Hockey is a game where discipline is supposed to be one of the greatest assets that you can have. A disciplined player, a disciplined team. And he showed neither. There is so much on the commissioner's plate. There is, Jason. When you think, you know, there's a lot of hockey players that are wearing the red jerseys, the Washington Capitals, that hate to see that happen because they don't want to be the representatives of what a lot of people just saw. They don't want people watching hockey to think that they themselves would do the same thing. I'm surprised and I'm disappointed in Dale Hunter. He represents too much to do what he did, but he cracked. Dale Hunter, uh, way after the uh, goal was scored, ramming Pierre Turgeon from behind, and uh, we don't know the extent of the injury. Your comments on the play? Well, I don't know what's, uh, what's going on with Pierre right now. I think he hurt his shoulder, but uh, um, very poor sportsmanship uh, on Dale Hunter's part. Uh, I know he's a competitor and everything, but uh, that was a cheap shot. And to think that he'd do something like that on a, on a national television uh, hockey game where we're trying to get some notoriety throughout the... Uh, the, uh, the southern part of the states and throughout the hockey world and that's just uh, uncalled for and it's way out of line I think. One of the uh, aspects of it that made it so uh, distasteful and here let's uh, just tell me about the move he makes on the goal. Well when Pierre gets a chance like that he never he doesn't usually uh, doesn't usually miss him. Uh, that's just uh, that's uh, something I don't ever want to see. Do you feel that uh, since Commissioner Gary Bettman is here right now uh, at the game, do you think he might take any action on this and, and what do you think would be appropriate? Well, I think uh, it's a, an obvious uh, attempt to put one of the best players in the league out of the lineup. Um, uh, and uh, the fact that uh, he, he probably knew that they were going to lose the game. And uh, I think that's a cop-out by him and uh, um, not going through 60 minutes uh, to try and get, get their team back in the game. And it's also a very... Uh, very, uh, you know, I think it's a stab in the back. It's just awful, I think. Glenn, I'm told, and this is secondhand, but somebody told me that in the hallway there was another burst of emotion. Apparently Dale Hunter was going to do an interview and uh, Ray Ferraro uh, saw him and Ray apparently tried to get at him. Now, uh, there's got to be a, a huge a sting being suffered by the entire Islander team over the Hunter episode. Your feelings? Well, I, I had a tremendous amount of respect for Dale Hunter uh, before this evening. Um, you know, I, I feel he, he's a grinding player. He works hard. He works hard for his goals. But uh, tonight he displayed uh, the epitome of cheapness. I think uh, no player needs to be hit in that situation. Pierre was totally relaxed. Uh, the goal was three seconds in and uh, obviously feeling the frustration from the series. And uh, like I said, I've just lost a tremendous amount of respect for that man. And I hope the NHL comes down on things like that because there's no room in this league for that type of behavior. You said that I didn't see the puck go in, you know, went in the net, uh, but uh, that's, you know, he, he tries to, he tries to uh, hide something, but still, it's, it's a cheap shot. Canadians coach Jacques Demers was quick to criticize Hunter's actions, not his integrity. I always respected Dale Hunter as a competitor, but this time, at the, I'm not going to say he's been doing that for 10 years, like some people say, I don't, he's been a great competitor. I coached Mark Hunter, and the Hunters are known for being competitive. Competitive is one thing. But Dale Hunter's career is littered with the victims of his violent nature. This elbow on Gord Murphy led to a four-game suspension. Here goes Dale Hunter in seven year In his 13-year NHL career, he's never been too far from the game's dark side. Now the game may finally make Hunter pay. I wouldn't be, su be surprised if they, uh, you know, start cracking down from what they what they say uh, as the, you know, incidents like this uh, to, to uh, you know, make guys. Uh, you know, get punished for, uh, for actions that, uh, that aren't call, called for. There is a playoff precedent. Ron Hextall's premeditated attack on Chris Chelios four years ago earned him a 12-game suspension that started the following season. Everyone agrees that incident pales in comparison to the Turgeon affair. We're trying to sell hockey in the States. ABC is apparently going to televise, you'd like to see Turgeon against Lemieux, right? 
And that kid's not going to be there in the series, so that's all I want to say. I'm not going to tell the league how to run their business. Scott Clark. Here's what he gets Dale Hunter, Bill. 21 games, $150,000. So the horrible hunter has been hunted down and hammered, hit with a historical hiatus that says, take heed. All ye hockey pucks who hand out the dirty blows, you will pay for your dirty deeds. There was no excuse for what Hunter did to the Islanders' Pierre Turgeon following his clinching goal against the Capitals when he did this and knocked Turgeon out of action with a separated shoulder. All eyes focused on the new commissioner, Gary Bettman, to see what message he would send. 21 games, 150 grand. I hear you, Gary. I hear you. The loss and pay to this player will amount to more than all of the supplemental discipline handed out to all NHL players for the 92-93 season. If this isn't a severe penalty, then, then I apologize, but I'm not sure what is. I think it's probably within the range. Uh, if there's a high range being uh, boiled in oil and a low range being 21 games, then he was in the range. I am a big believer that the victim's team should be compensated. There has to be restitution. There wasn't any. When I first heard about 21 game suspension, I thought it, uh, I was hoping at least that it was 15 games against the rest of the league and six games against the New York Islanders for all of the times that the Washington Caps play the Islanders next year. That wasn't done, but all in all, I have to give the NHL high marks. I think this was well handled. The longest suspensions for inaction misconduct in baseball, Pete Rose for bumping umpire Dave Pallone. Kermit Washington docked 26 games for punching Rudy Tomjanovich. Charles Martin was suspended two NFL games for slamming Jim McMahon to the turf. Hunter's 21-game punishment, just in case you're wondering, was preceded as the worst NHL suspension by Tom Lysiak of the Chicago Blackhawks, who intentionally tripped a linesman and was suspended by the league for 20 games in 1983.